Hello everybody. It's Friday night. The wife and kids are, I think they're getting burgers right now. So they took off to town. The power was out. It's pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> my son was asking me, so do we have to have power to have Wi-Fi? Because I can't play my game right now. I'm like, yeah, you have to have power to have Wi-Fi. So I finally just took the phone away from him. We went through a little class on how to power up the inverter, you know, connected to the car battery so we can, you know, power up things and basically have power using the car battery as a generator and then wrapping blankets around the freezer and the refrigerator to protect the meat we have and things like that. And, you know, my wife broke out candles. I showed them where the phone chargers that we have plugged into the wall all the time and then the battery adapters that we have that are set up for big batteries that you can they have adapters you, you plug into the batteries and that way you can power up phones you can they have usb ports on them and different different ways of charging ways of having minimal power and then kerosene lanterns and uh things oh there goes the ducks they're coming around they're over there on the fence line as i'm i'm just watching the babies i'm literally just sitting here after a big rain you know just hanging out looking at the birds and all that stuff because i mean you don't really i mean i do this all the time but as far as like the kids and the wife just sit outside you know we we played cards and we just try to enjoy the company and then they got hungry and they wanted to go into town so they did um that's a big thing like uh i need to to keep hammering on them is about the preparedness of if the power does go out you know i i told them and i teach them that when the power if the power does go out you need to be able to preserve what you have so a few things we do have is in the freezer all the leftover space is filled with gallon size bottles of water, which you can buy for 99 cents or whatnot at the grocery store. And if there's a space in the freezer after, you know, you pull out some venison, you pull out some fish or something like that, you put a gallon size jug of water in there because it, it saves power on the freezer by simply filling that space with jugs of water, ice. And then if the power goes out, now you have these big jugs of ice, gallon size, you put them in the refrigerator, you leave them in the freezer, you put them in the other freezer, you know, on your refrigerator, and it keeps it cool. And then wrapping it in blankets and having candles and having batteries, having things plugged in the wall that will charge your phones. Because, I mean, the cell network was still up, but we did not have power. And we had water, so that was good. And so we went through all that, and I walked everyone around the house, and I talked about, you know, hey, look, when this is over with, what we're going to do is, you know, everyone's going to get a backpack, they're going to put it on the back of their door, they're going to have a flashlight in there. They're going to have a pair of batteries in there. You know, they're going to have a bottle of water. Just different things. So if they need be, they have what they need. I was watching that goose. I was wondering what he was going to do to the duck there. It's kind of funny what he looks at. He's like, what are you eating? What are you eating, buddy? What do you got? What, what are you doing? Get out of here. You're not allowed to eat my grass. It is kind of funny watching these guys. Those geese are, I think they're beautiful. They're just amazing little creatures. And then the uh, the ducks, which are, I don't know, the red-headed stepchild, I guess. They're not really part of the group, apparently, you know, completely. Bruce tolerates them. But those guys, those ducks, are, they're so fat and lazy. Like, every time they, they just sit down. Well, now everybody's sitting down, so it's kind of funny to watch that. But they'll literally just go over that the jug of water and just sit there and not move for hours and hours and hours. But I guess that's kind of like ducks, you know. These guys really aren't hunters like the Golden 300s, the... The ones, the egg layers we have, but they do well, and Bruce does well watching everybody. It is pretty amazing to see him out here being motherly, and he is, you know, mother goose, though he is a male. And the chickens, you know, they're doing good. Our special little fellas right there in the grass, you kind of see that yellow dot. You see the uh, the duck there moving, and then just the left is is our special little guy, and the other little, you know, reddish orange one that's with him all the time. The 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 two babies which are right there those two he just peeps he's out here constantly making noise my wife's like what's going on over there I'm like, ah, that's what he does man we got squeaky and special fella you know and then of course the ducks out there by himself eating grass looking for bugs and everything i mean they're all hunters they're all little raptors i mean that's what they do they they eat whatever they can so and now they're just eating grass weeds something i don't care i mean this is a big enough yard to support them all but anyways i wanted to talk a little bit about the power it went out and what we did with about it and we're pretty good 
you know, the power goes out. We've got food. We've got water. I can uh, keep the freezers cold. I can keep things frozen for a while. And then the big deal is being able to cook your food. You know, I, I have MSR stoves and things like that. We can heat water so my wife can have coffee. And uh, that's what you got to be able to do. Instead of just having to run into town, which after a few minutes is what they did. Well, a couple hours. The power was out for about four hours. That's what they did because they just got bored. And all the birds are waking up. They're... They're hanging out. There you go. You can hear them. Just peeping like crazy. That's what that guy does. All right. Well, you guys have a good weekend. Take it easy. Now the power's on. I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something. Take it easy.